Hi friends. So today we are dealing up with cytokines. Okay. And C for cytokines, C for chemical substances. Okay. So basically these are chemical substances serving as messengers. Okay. They serve as messengers They mediate Interaction Okay They mediate interaction And communication Between Immune cells Okay So it's very clear that what they are, they are chemical substances. Fine. And how does this serve as? They serve as messengers which mediate what? Interaction and communication. Is it fine? Then you remember what are the various classes of cytokines? The major classes of cytokines okay what are the major classes of cytokines so one is lymphokine okay one is monokine one is interleukin one is chemokine okay as the name is only suggesting up these lymphokines are produced by whom? They are produced by lymphocytes. Okay, they are produced by lymphocytes. Monokines, they are produced by monocytes and obviously macrophages. Fine. Monocytes and macrophages and interleukins they are produced by WBCs okay and chemokines they involve up in the chemotaxis okay they involve up in the chemotaxis fine Remember the cytokines they have certain action with them. Okay, they have a broad range of effects with them. And what is the name of those effects? One is autocrine, one is paracrine, and one is endocrine. Okay, so one is autocrine, auto means that acts on the same cell okay that acts on the same cell auto means same para paracrine that acts on the adjacent cell okay that fellow acts on the adjacent cell and the endocrine is one that acts on the cell present at a distant site okay so that particular one acts on the distant site okay so that's very clear the three types of actions are there effects are there one is autocrine effect one is paracrine effect and one is endocrine effect okay now in this you need to remember two words like one is pleiotropy okay pleiotropy and one is redundancy redundancy one is redundancy and one is pleiotropy slight bit confusing stuff but as such you just remember up a few things regarding them that is pleo 
entropy means what means this that suppose there are t helper cells okay what they have secreted up interleukin 4 okay what they have secreted up interleukin 4 fine this particular interleukin 4 will have multiple action and what is it multiple action one is b cell activation okay one is along with activation obviously proliferation and even differentiation okay so all these things it causes interleukin 4 causes what it causes activation proliferation and differentiation whereas this particular one interleukin 4 also have which other action it have thymocyte proliferation it have thymocyte proliferation along with mast cell proliferation along with mast cell proliferation that is what is termed as pleiotropy okay H is not there okay then you have this one that is termed as redundancy and what is this being redundant what it is again you remember up there are T helper cells fine and they secrete up multiple interleukins like interleukin 2 interleukin 4 and interleukin 5 and all of them they are producing a single effect that is b cell proliferation if you remember that list all of these fellows they are capable of causing what b cell proliferation okay so one thing is for sure that pleiotropy is what you just remember by this that plenty of action is there from a single fellow so this particular i you can remember up like one one fellow is having a plenty of action like interleukin 4 is having plenty of action like it is having b cell activation proliferation and differentiation along with that it is having thymocyte proliferation and along with that it is having mast cell proliferation and regarding this particular one redundancy what it is is t helper cells is producing number of interleukins one is two one is four and one is five and what they are producing in combination they can produce a b cell proliferation okay not exactly in combination i should say separately also they are capable of causing the b cell proliferation okay so interleukin 2 interleukin 4 and interleukin 5 what they can cause they can cause b cell proliferation so this is what is two words which confuse you Spleotropy means a single fellow is having plenty of action and redundancy means a this particular one that is number of interleukins they are doing a single work that is interleukin 2 4 and 5 they are activating the b cells proliferation fine thank you so much